IO Short Grid. Get it now! Hello everyone! Today I will share with you how to use the Gate IO Short Grid. I hope that this video can help you profit regardless of the bear or bull market. Grid trading uses the strategy of buying low and selling high. The short grid does the opposite, which takes the strategy of selling high and buying low. Although the principles are the same, the two are very different. What's the principle of a short grid? From the perspective of purpose, the main purpose of grid trading is arbitrage, which is suitable for use when the market is volatile or rising. The main purpose of shorting the grid is to hold coins, which is suitable for use when the price falls. From the perspective of charge units, grid trading uses USDT as a charge unit, while short grid uses BTC as a charge unit. When creating an order, it will use part of the BTC to buy USDT and buy more BTC when the price falls. While the reserve BTC will mainly stay to sell when the price rises. So the order of shorting the grid is to first sell BTC at a high price and buy when the price falls. When should I use a short grid? When you can predict that the market will fall in the future and that the price will rise after this fall period. When the price falls, the short grid will help you buy the corresponding currency. So the more the price falls, the more coins you hold. When you bought at a high point and wanted to start at a low price. Due to the volatility of cryptocurrencies, it is difficult to judge when to buy. So, investors sometimes accidentally buy at a high point, which is actually very suitable for using the short grid to help clear the currency in hand, and then buy at a gain when the price falls. Because a short grid will help you clear out some of the currency in hand and help you buy when the price falls, you can achieve the purpose of buying at a low price. Besides, with the short grid, you retain part of the original currency, so even if the price rises after selling, you can still enjoy part of the benefits brought by the rising price. For example, suppose you hold 1000 BTC and the price range is set at 5000 to 10,000 with a grid of 1000. Let's say that if the price rises for every one range, 100 coins are sold. And if the price falls for every one range, 100 coins are bought. Therefore, when the price rises to 9,000, 100 coins are sold, with 900 coins remaining. When the price continues to rise to 10,000, Another 100 coins are sold continually, with 800 coins left. When the price falls, it will buy the coin. When the price falls to 9000, it will buy 100 coins, with 900 coins held. When the price falls further to 8000, it will continue to buy, with 1000 coins held. Assuming the trade is terminated at this moment, the gain on holdings is 6.7% and the gain on short grid trading is 12%. How to use short grid? Take short future grid times 1 as an example. To create a contract grid, follow these steps. Go to the navigation bar. Click on copy trading. Then select Strategies Templates Contract Grid Click on Create Strategy Then select Trade Pairs Configure Parameters 
then click on Create, as shown in the following figure. The difficulty in short grid lies in the parameter setting, but no worries, we will explain them one by one. All newbies are welcome. Making the choice of going long or short. You can choose according to your subjective prediction of the market. Choose to go long if you predict that the price will rise and choose to go short if the market falls. Price range. The lowest price is the lowest buying price for executing a grid transaction and it will not continue to buy if it is lower than this price. while the highest price is the highest selling price for executing a grid transaction. It will not continue to sell if it is higher than this price. Leverage Select a leverage multiple. Increasing the leverage multiple can reduce the minimum investment amount, allowing the risk and return to coexist in a balance. Number of grids the number of grids is the number of hanging orders. The larger the number of hanging orders, the denser the grid, with more times of high selling and low buying, varying from 2 to 50. Equal difference grid. Each grid price is the same in spacing, which is calculated as upper limit price minus lower limit price divided by the number of grids minus 1. Equal ratio grid. The price spacing of each grid is equally proportional and is calculated as follows. Base currency buy and sell quantity per grid. In the contract grid, the amount of the base currency in each grid is equal to 1. Quantity increment. Quantity increment is disabled by default. After enabling it, you can choose to increase the buying or selling amount of each grid per quantity or per rata. Example. The basic size of a grid is 1 and the set quantity increment is 2 then the first grid can buy or sell at 1 BTC. The second grid can buy or sell 1 plus 2 is 3 BTC. The third grid can buy or sell 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5 BTC and so on. Trigger price of the strategy only when the latest market price is lower than or equal to the trigger price will the strategy be activated. When configuring the strategy, the set trigger price must be lower than the latest market price and fall in the price range of the grids. Stop loss price. When the difference between the average price of the position and the market price falls below the automatic stop-loss ratio, the stop-loss is triggered. The market price is closed and the strategy is terminated. That's all for parameter settings of short grid. I hope you find it easier to start trading and be a grid pro.